Hello there. Uh, it's um, Sunday the 29th at 8.32 in the morning. Um, I um, Things didn't exactly go the way I wanted this week. Um, I had originally planned to every night um, from Monday through Friday or Saturday record a little bit of uh, me actually writing or working in some way, shape or form on, on one of the stories. And then I'd call this a nice process video. And this is how I, this is how I work. Um, unfortunately, um, life has a way of throwing monkey wrenches into things. And well, yeah, this uh, whole coronavirus thing just completely screwed my week up because Tuesday afternoon, they sent us all home with our work computers so we could now work from home, which screwed up my entire week. Um, Wednesday was a, a complete bust trying to, Tuesday afternoon after I got home and all what day, Wednesday was a complete bust just trying to get myself connected. Even Thursday morning was was uh, was hectic just trying to get myself uh, back online because um, we didn't get everything, we weren't told everything we needed to know to be quite honest, but that's neither here nor there. Um, but everything is set up now and, um, uh, everything is, seems to be functioning at least as of Friday, everything was functioning. So hopefully, uh, tomorrow, um, things will, uh, be back, uh, back on track. Uh, but unfortunately because of all that, uh, I was not able to record anymore for the video. So I figured, okay, let me just put up, let me just record this little front piece um, and, uh, take it, uh, and take it from there. Um, basically this is just, uh, me working. Uh, the first one I think is me actually writing. The second one is me doing a little typing. Um, and, uh, sorry. <laughs> um, hopefully, hopefully, like I said, things have settled, things will have, will settle down and, um, we'll, uh, be able to get back to some regular, uh, regular, um, uh, production. Uh, I have been writing though. I've, I've decided that I want to focus my attention on my soul to keep. It's the closest to being finished. So I, I want to get that finished so I can get that into, uh, get that into editing. Um, and with that, um, remember, um, we are each of us the heroes of our own stories and the villains of someone else's. Uh, and now you see, get to see me. It's seven days ago, and then six days ago. Talk to you later. Hello. Um, it's uh, Saturday, March um, 21st, 2020. And um, starting to do something a little bit different uh, different kind of video this, this time. Um, I'm probably not going to have one up this weekend. My parents are, uh, my parents are visiting, so I'm not going to have time to actually sit, record and render, um, a video. So what I'm going to try and do is over the course of the week, uh, go over uh, a little bit of my, uh, my process. Of, you know, how I write, what I, you know, what am I doing when I'm, when I'm writing and, um, along the way, maybe talk about a few other things that, uh, might pop up over the course of the week. I'll probably try and keep, uh, some segments a little, keep the segments a little bit shorter so that the, so that the video at the end doesn't turn out to be too long. Um, but, um, yeah. That's what we're going to try and doing. Um, I have been up till I have been working pretty steadily on uh, under the dark of the moon, uh, and bouncing between that and the fast fading light. Um, although I have to do some figuring on the fast fading light because there's uh, a stretch of time I have to fill, and I don't know how much of that stretch of time I actually have to show or want to show. So, 
Uh, but right now, I'm working on uh, my soul to keep. Um, this, uh, this one, it's the closest story to being finished. It's two-thirds to three-quarters of the way finished. So um, I should really be concentrating on getting this one finished. Um, I could have... I'm trying to get things as, not, you know, bad habit of mine. I'm trying to get it perfect the first time, which is wrong. First draft doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be finished, you know. So that's what I'm trying to do. Um, basically, the story, it's, um, you can think of it of a little bit of Logan's Run, the movie, uh, and a little bit of a movie called Dark City. There's a group of people living in a city called Coventry, and they think that they that their town is all there is. The six hundred of them is all there is. In the middle of this beautiful plain that happens to be sitting in the middle of a dome. They, for them, it's completely natural for the sky to be. Uh, blue metal, and it's perfectly natural for the sun and the moon to be essentially giant spotlights. So, and it um, turns out there's some rather nefarious uh, reasons behind their existence, and um, the story is about their the struggle of one person to free them after she's shown what uh, what reality is. Uh, you can think of this as part of a trilogy, although it's a very loosely defined trilogy, under the, uh, upon a far distant shore. Actually, you can think of it as the first, um, the first time, the first part of the trilogy, um, then uh, actually the Fast Fading Light would be part two, and My Soul to Keep is part three. Um, who said that parts of a trilogy have to be written in order? So. And, um, away we go. Hang on a second, I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, sorry, I had to change locations. Uh, I wanted to make sure you could see at least part of uh, the notebook I'm working on here. So, I had to change locations. I'm sitting at my desk now, which is where I usually film the videos anyway. And um, now, away we go. Um, the scene that I'm in right now, um, Helena, our main character, and her partner, Isaac, um, had been at dinner with, um, with some friends, and Helena has noticed that there are people who have been stopping and staring at her, 
eyes widen. They're muttering under their breaths. She can't hear what they're, what's being said. So one of the one of the friends that they're having dinner with uh, is also being tapped in, and she realizes she's being watched. Um, and she's having now she's having some second thoughts. Maybe she's, um, she's starting to think maybe things were better off as they were, you know, not knowing um, the nefarious reasons um, why uh, why they're in Co why they're in the city of Coventry, the city in the under the dome. And um, they were just invited to. Um, uh, what's referred to as an aphrodisia suite. It's essentially um, a large glass room, completely clear glass walls, glass floor, glass ceiling. And um, it's kind of like a live porn. And uh, Isaac... Uh, it's surprised that Helena would suggest going to them. She's never shown any interest in going to them before. Uh, but he says he's got this, um, some kind of drug. I have to come up with a name for it. Um, it's essentially like um, LSD. And I really should come up with a name for it. So what I'm going to do right now, instead of uh, taking the time right at this moment, to uh, come up with a name, I'm uh, just going to put in uh, parentheses LSD. This way, when I'm typing it up, I know I have to come up with a name for it. If I don't do it when I'm typing, then I know when I'm editing, um, uh, I'll know that I have to come up with an actual name. How long have we been going? Almost 10 minutes. Okay. And basically, this scene is kind of, it's a, it's a bridging scene uh, because from here, um, the story uh, really does get kicked in the ass, if you will. Uh, it builds very quickly uh, to the end. And... Uh, Um, I, I like the story. I really like the story. It kind of sags a little bit in the, in, in the middle, but that could be saved in editing. Um, I might, I might do, once this is finished, I might go back and do a, uh, very aggressive line by line edit, what some people also refer to as rewriting. Um, but I'll worry about that, um, that one down the road. And, um, so I guess that's it for tonight. I don't know how many days I'm going to record, how many segments are going to be in this, but um, we'll see how it goes. Um, thanks a lot, guys. Um, talk to you soon. Hey, guys. It's um, Sunday, Sunday the 22nd of March. Um, and uh, tonight... I'm uh, going to be, uh, I'm spending some time uh, typing up. I finished uh, rewriting chapter 15 of um, Under the Dark of the Moon. I, and I try and uh, type up um, the chapters as I finish them so that I'm not falling uh, behind. Uh, because that's what happened to me the, the first time. I got up to chapter 22, but I had only, hadn't gotten it all typed up so now I've got a stack of chapters in my really bad handwriting that I have to interpret but so I'll have a little time before I uh, get there so just doing a little typing tonight this is probably not going to be uh, too long because uh, you're watching me type um, anyway if you're about the way I have things set up here's the keyboard and there's my notebook right next to it. Um, just a, a couple of other general things. Um, normally, I would have uh, the television on um, or 
and have uh, YouTube videos playing or music playing in the background. They don't like um, silence. Uh, when it's silent, my mind starts uh, drifting. So unfortunately, I can't have the can't take the television off of mute, and I can't play any music or videos because that'll be a copyright strike. So um, here we go. Um, just uh, as a general uh, note, the handwritten copy um, you can think of as uh, the zero draft. And then with uh, the typed version, as I go along, I'm doing a little minor editing here. Because sometimes what I'll have a habit of doing is stopping in the middle of a sentence, and then starting a new sentence, and it's like, okay, what was I talking about? So... Um, yeah. Now, the interesting thing about this chapter, um, about, well, firstly, um, uh, George and Brenna, my main characters from Under the Dark the Moon, live uh, down the street from the house where I used to live. Um, if you looked at a map of the area where their house is located, it's actually in the middle of a turn. So it's right in the middle of the street. It's not an actual piece of property. Um, but because I'm dealing with real places, uh, I am putting in some real names. For example, um, the Coven that uh, Brenna is part of is in West Hampton, Long Island. That heads out in the, um, out at the uh, east, on the uh, very uh, south fork of Long Island. If you look at it, it kind of continues and then splits to North Fork and South Fork. South Fork is, um, uh, we're getting into the Hamptons and um, Montauk, which you might have heard of. There's a very famous lighthouse down there at Montauk. Uh, Montauk. And then there's Center Reach. Uh, which is where two other characters live. Uh, they eventually go to a safe house in Stony Brook, which is two towns over. George, for example, is uh, the road. He's turning down off, off of one road onto a highway, then onto another onto another road to get uh, back to his house. And these are real, actual roads. You can go to a map of Long Island, and you can find Mark Tree Road and Wisconsin Highway and Broadway. They're real roads. It gives it a little more sense of uh, being real places, which they are real places. I grew up there. And usually what I do is after I finish typing one whole page, I'll take a, a, a break for a few minutes just to rest my fingers. Because if I go too fast or too long, I start my fingers start getting all... And, um, and it becomes even more tedious because as much as I love writing, I hate typing. So, yeah. Um, like I said, this little, this particular segment... It's not going to be that long, um, so we're going to uh, going to bring it to an end here, and uh, talk to you later. Bye.